Hey guys, welcome back to a 90s kid and today we're going to look at the very popular 90s craze Pogs, 100% authentic. Uh, so this is my Pog collection, well actually it's half my Pog collection because my other Pog collection, the bundle I won on eBay is right by there. However, I don't think that's all going to fit on here. So um, I'm just going to show you this side for now and we'll look at that later on in the video. So, my very good friend Andrew gifted me his POG collection. I say gifted because he didn't charge me anything. He had this official mini torment POG uh, game. You know what? If I just go over here a minute and grab this. Here it is. Yeah, Micro Torment Game Pack, the World POG Federation. So, all the ones you can see by here, like, if you ignore that, there you go is what he had in this tournament. So if you look at the back of these, it says Micro Tournament number 14. So these are all the ones in the Micro Tournament. What was it about Pogs we loved? They're simply little discs, there you go, a Pog dog, Paddy. Puppy in my pocket, there we go. But everyone loved them. Um, I remember people collecting them in school, um, and then playing games using stammers to try and knock them over. This is one I remember big time. I always remember that. That's cool. There's another slammer I like. Casper the Friendly Ghost. That's awesome slammer. Really happy with that one. Yeah. Um, of course, me and my friends used to play this. But I don't think we ever used to play for keeps because we'd always get too upset if we lost. <laughs> Uh, kids, eh? Yeah, so these ones by here, guys, are just your classic Pog character um, for the tournament, apart from Paddy there. He's kind of like a whale on his back there. So let's go down here slowly. <laughs> these are so cool to have, though, after all these years. Um, I don't think that one's official in the tournament, but it was in the case. Yeah. And by here then, he's got his other collection. They come in this purple container. I had a green one of these. So I've put the classic Pog ones I found towards the bottom. I don't think these are the tournament, are they? No, no not edition. Okay, remember those ones. I'm not sure what some of these are. Uh, Jaren Space Precinct. Not sure what that anime character is, but that would be cool to find out. There's a food doubles in here as well. And um, there's two of the Abracadabra ones. Friendly YouTube ghost into... No, I said it wrong. Friendly YouTube host into ghost. Well, that ruins that uh, joke. Move along quickly. There's loads of these ones. Oof, 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 oof. Uh, yeah, so plenty of chipper caps in here. Uh, there's a Casper one there. Slaughter cat. Wow. Yeah, oh, I remember that one. Charlie Chalk. I'm sure that's Charlie Chalk. Let's have a look. Doesn't say. Yeah, CC Charlie Chalk. Uh, some kind of shark and a snorkel. And some of your classic uh, slammers up here. A green one. I think that's Chubba Caps, yeah. Chubba. Not sure what country it is. I'm rubbish with flags. There you go. Perfect. So, guys, that is part one. Oh, and we got some Tazos. Let's not forget the Tazos. I'm a Fudd, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Riley, Coyote. And Taz is Mark Anthony. Would you believe it? So cool to have again. Right, I'll, get, um, I'll now get out the collection I won off eBay. Okay, so before I show you the next bundle, did anybody ever used to put their Tazos together like this in their little grooves? They don't always stay in, a bit loose, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, I used to do that all the time. Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so I was right. That one side of the table would not have been big enough for the bundle I won off eBay. I didn't realize there were so many. Uh, first one I would like to point out, though, is the Biker Mice from Mars one. And a big shout out to 2D UK. This is not the one he gave me, but he did give me... Um, a few biker mice from Mars Pogs. 
that he found and these came in shreddies they're filthy okay so let's have a look what we got well whoever had these pogs uh, the kid or the kids uh, parents were definitely into the football ones they've got loads of these I'm not into football at all, I'm not big into it anyway, so uh, I'm probably not looking to keep those. Okay, so down here then we have some of the classic Pog series. We've got a Superman Pog. <laughs> yeah, that's the normal classic Pog collection. There's also a Pog World Tour, this might be the World Tour one. Watch my hand for the, there you go, yeah, the World Tour series. So in here there's a mixture of football, World Tour, classic Pogs. i got a lot of doubles. Triple, maybe. I remember that one. Hmm. I think I remember that as well. I love Barney. Ha! Class. Of course, you got your silver ones, your shinies. No slammers in this collection, though, which is not too bad. You also have something called madcaps. Now, I can't remember these. Uh, mad fish. Some kind of koala. Strange things. I have no idea what that is. Also, though, you had Spider-Man ones in here. Not many. We got Venom. Uh, there's a Spider-Man. Aunt May. And a couple of Carnage. We got two of Carnage. So that was cool to have. And Smythe. There he is. So, must be from the 90s cartoon series, I think. Okay, down here we also have uh, Power Rangers. This was one of the... Monsters, you go, 104, one point, what does that mean? So that's cool, cool to have, and you've got two of those though. So we've got the bird, and we have got, where did I put that back in my one? Why is there a gap by there? Anyway, on to point, what's the other one? Else? Here we go. Now that one's poor condition, but if we look closely, you can see the command center, and the Power Rangers uh, teleporting by there. So that's cool. There's only two of those in here though. I was hoping it would be a bit more. So yeah, then upwards then we have got a Lion King one, Timon. That was pretty cool. I didn't realise there was still any Pogs around at that time. How long did Pogs go on for? It must be in the early 90s they came out, surely. So let me know guys in the comments below any information you have on Pogs. I mean I could just go Google it I guess. Uh, some matters I have no idea what that is. America's Highway. Play it. Is that a song or something? See a couple of doubles here. Um, what have we got at this end? More of the Pog and the World Tour. No idea what they are. I think I remember that one as well. So go back over here. There's oh, we got four of these. It's in London now, is he? New York. <laughs> Censored. What? Sea World, sea World Sperm Whale. Okay. Don't, uh... <laughs> oh dear. And anyway, we got Tazos by here. And we got some Star Wars ones. I forgot to mention that Jabba the Hutt one was in the pack Andrew gave me. So we got Luke there and Luke and Vader in a life two battle and your classic Tazos. There's quite a few doubles of these as well. Especially Porky Pink. Up here then there's just more uh little tall ones. And this one has got a shiny tooth. There you go. I thought a bit was missing from the um picture it scraped off, but then I looked at the double and it's exactly the same. There you go guys, that is pretty much it. Quite a big bundle, I think I went for about £10, £7 something odd, so not too bad at all. But look how many there are. But I have my trusty Street Fighter tin. If you watched my mystery unboxing video, you would have seen that. So it has come in handy, because they're all going to go in here if they fit. Um, what I might do, if I get the 500 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. So I've got quite a bit of cool uh, retro stuff to give away and I'd be tempted to chuck in some of the doubles I've got here and the collections I'm not interested in. I don't know whether I should go for like a full 
classic pog set like that. Or I'd be more interested as well collecting the Spider Man ones because they are pretty cool. There was Batman pogs on eBay. Um, I didn't win the bid. I put a bid in, but it was going too high, and I thought I'm not that desperate for them. So yeah, um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers would be a cool one to get as well. So I'd be interested in like stuff like that, things I used to like. So classic pogs, world tour, maybe Tazos. Yeah, none of the football ones though. They can go. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know, did you play with Pogs as a kid? Did you play with Pogs as an adult? Um, be really cool to hear your thoughts. Did you play them in school? Did you play them for keeps? Did you cry when you lost them? Yeah. Wow, this is way too many. Okay, guys, thank you for watching as ever. And uh, yeah, boom. See you soon.